Aloha, my name is Dan Amato, and this is my final project for UH Manoa Hawaiian Studies 282. Now, our, our uh, assignment was to create a replica of some sort of uh, Polynesian style sailing canoe. So, uh, this is what I've come up with. Uh, I've named it the Haumana, and I'll explain that in a moment. Uh, but uh, I first want to draw your attention to, uh, to the hull. Kimo. This is a hull crafted out of hau wood. It's a uh, native hardwood that is commonly used for um, building, particularly amas, on uh, Hawaiian canoes. And so uh, I've crafted the hull out of this. It's a very light wood when it's dry. It's very buoyant. I harvested uh, this hau on the north shore. I said uh, a prayer and, uh, and took the hau. It was about a maybe a two foot long piece, and I then sliced the top off of it, and the one piece became the ama, the center, the heartwood of the hau, and then the other is uh, is the kimo or hole in almost its entirety. And so I've named this the hau mana because well, first of all, it's made out of hau, but second of all, uh, well, the word mana. And thirdly, haumana together as a single word um, usually means student or apprentice, sometimes freshman, a novice. And so that's how I see my role uh, in not only building uh, fun little toy sailing canoes like this, but also with the Polynesian Voyaging Society. I've been training now for about nine months um, to be part of the crew, and uh, I'm definitely still in training and, uh, and a student. So um, I'd like to take you through the different pieces of this canoe. Uh, we have the kia here, or the mast is uh, made of bamboo harvested right here in Manoa next to my house. Um, and we have also the two iyakos, also made of bamboo, as well as the uh, nohoa, or the seats. And so uh, I have a nice classic bowl in here holding uh, this sail here at the clue and uh, it's strapped to this back seat here or in the hoa uh, and can you know, go either which way depending on the wind. Um, let's see what else. So this is, uh, my idea for this canoe was to provide or create uh, a classic or semi-classic fishing style canoe. And so the fishing style or opelo canoe was one that is typically very round. Uh, it, and this might cause quite a bit of leeway, but the idea was to support a lot of weight. And so uh, I, I, I really wanted this canoe to float on first try, so I decided that it better hold a lot of weight if I was to put that on there. So uh, you'll notice that the, that the uh, uh, Manu Ope, or the rear of the canoe here, is very round. It's almost a complete half circle, and it's uh, much wider than the Manu Ihu, or the bow of the canoe, which it comes to quite a point. Uh, well, not quite a point, but it's pointy enough. And you can see that the inside of the canoe is quite dug out. I did this with a um, really nice set of um, of chisels over <laughs> quite some time and then the whole canoe was then uh, oiled with a nice oil um, and so the uh, la or sail here was um, part of another vessel that uh, is since uh, on dry dock for repair and uh, so I think with that, I believe we're just going to have to try this one out and see if it floats. Jump roll.